Well, February is the month for red. It's National Wear Red Month to raise awareness for women's heart health, mm -hmm. right? And of course, it's Valentine's Day. But here to help us wear it well is Local 4 Style Editor John Jordan. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. I made this easy for myself. I just brought Friends with Trends. Ah, it's time to play Friends with Trends. I like this. Let's start with Jessie, the woman in red. Okay. Yes. So I'm she feeling knows, all of this. Yeah, she knows how to do red and you know make a statement, but you know it's ladylike. Tell us about your red story. Well, usually my palette is pretty neutral. I stick to the blacks and the taupes and the creams, mm -hmm. but when I do pick a color, usually I end up with red, I think is strong and powerful. But I try to keep it simple. You know, you mm -hmm. notice that the skirt is not too short. Yeah. It's pretty simple. And I put a little fur jacket on for a little drama. I love it. Drama and zhuzh. Mm -hmm. I'm all about it. I <laughs> love it. All about. Time, but, I love know. it. <laughs> I'll walk around in the day, go to Starbucks with that on. <laughs> not? And so next we have Leah. And Leah actually has a store, Leah's Closet in Royal Oak. And your color story is a statement. Yes, so I always encourage all of my customers in the store to not be afraid to max, uh, mix, um, you know, textures, different patterns, uh, unrelated colors, maybe that you wouldn't necessarily put together the red and the cobalt blue. Mm -hmm. I've got on the 80s, 90s trend going Love on. Love it. Uh, the high-waisted pants. Yep. Love it. That, and it works. Plus, yeah. You, you just have to not be afraid of it. Right. Okay. And next to Leah, we have Rachel Lutz, who has a bazillion stores and counting. <laughs> like uh, like 17,000. Seven continents. Yes. Um, <laughs> so where's this from? And your color story is? My color story is red adjacent. I like to play with different shades of red. Mm -hmm. um, you could call this Bordeaux, maybe. Mm -hmm. It kind of veers toward plum. You could veer the opposite way toward orange. These pieces are from my shops, the Peacock Room and the Fisher Building. Mm -hmm. um, and then these are actually from the African Bead Gallery at Grand River and Grand Boulevard. So you've done red with a red base. Yes. And you don't have to be afraid of bright red with muted red. Play with the intensity. All, All right. right. I like that. Speaking red adjacent. Of, I'm in speaking of, you know, you. Muted. Good morning. Hello. Scott is always classic, um, but you know, there's a way to do red. Yes, my style tends to be a little more understated, so I like to take red and just use small touches of it. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I put on this uh, kind of tropical pattern shirt. I just got back from the Caribbean, so I wanted to infuse that resort style. And then added it here with the uh, lapel uh, uh, floral and the pocket square. And one of the things that I like to do at the end of putting together a look is edit. Mm. Less is more, take something off, and there you're done. Uh, I, we, we're I in like agreement. That. We don't like pocket square, floral, print. It's a little much. Coco one or Chanel the other. said that, right? Yes. Right before you walk out the door, yes, take off absolutely. one piece of accessory. Always edit. And Love it. Last but not least, we have Justin Hi, here. Hi. And Justin's um, entire look is from John Barbados. Yes. I like it. Yes. And that t-shirt Nick Jonas wore to the Grammys. He did. Cool. So this is at our store right now. Um, and we have like a hoodie, there's a leather jacket, there's another um, linen t-shirt, okay. all teamed up with John Barbados. And you I smell good shoes. too. Is oh, that cologne you. from John Barbados too? Of course, too? has to be. These nice. shoes are amazing. Thank you. And I think the story here is that if you're afraid of bright red, muted. Muted, right, and at John Barbados, we usually do more of like these crimson, like darker reds. Okay. So it's not this like bright red in your face, so it's just an easy way. I do a lot of black as well. Mm -hmm. This is how I usually put my color on. I like it. Any guy can rock that. I like it. These are great ideas. And this is from Toomey. Ooh. And you know what's cool about this? If you're looking for something for Valentine's Day, it's collapsible. It, it's a backpack, but it goes right into this little... Oh, I love that. Yeah, so... You know, I'm not afraid it. of bright red, clearly. You know I'm not. It's popping on my lips every day. But we've got some more <laughs> red over there that Jason has on. He's this is what he does when I'm handling a segment. <laughs> Busted. You know, he's just, he's built for Gucci. Somehow, every segment, Jason ends up in Gucci. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I don't know how it, how it happens, but it happens. I like those. How do they feel on your feet, Jason Carr? They're pretty comfy. Nice, right? You yeah. can get used to this, right? Next time that you've got 600 bucks around, you'd buy these for me, right? I got you. Okay, got cool. You. It's another challenging re expense report we have to see. There we go, I know, right? <laughs> we'll see if that one gets approved. Thank you all so much for being here.